Hi friends, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel Leela Webdev. In the previous session, we have successfully get the all the product details from the database. Now it's time for us to see when we click on this add product. So we instead of saving this one in the file, we need to save this product inside the in, in the database. Let's try to see it. So now if we go into this one, so where we are saving the product in the product controller i think here somewhere yeah post add product page so now there is no need for us to give the id as a dynamic one so why because automatically in the database it will be auto incremented it's a primary key thing right so we need only title image price and description so if you want you can change it to image url why because the name we have kept it is the image url in the database the row the row the column name if you want you can give it as an image only now this is the model name save product let's go into this product.js and where is this save product yeah here so now the entire thing is not necessary so we can remove this entire code we got the product and here we need to write return db.execute so we need to use the query something like this time we need to insert the data into the products table so here we can write the query insert into products and first we need to give all the column names so all the column names are there is no need for us to give the id column why because it is an auto increment so another one is a title description price and the image url so these are the column names which are present in the database so here if you try to see here see id title description image url and price so then uh, the order is not at uh, mandatory so the, you need to mention these all the column names that's it so here i have mentioned title description price and image url now we need to send the values so here instead of sending directly the values i am sending the prepared prepared statement so i am preparing the statement so here these are called as a prepared statement now here we are passing one two three comma four four column names we need to have four question marks in the same order we need to provide it so here first we are having product title right so we need to mention product dot title the next one is the product dot description and the last and the second one is the product dot price and the last one is a product dot image url so we have changed it to image image from to image url right so that's it so we have added title description price and image url so we have framed this one so let's go into the save product where we are using in the product controller if you try to search it also i think in some place only will be able to get yeah so in this place only we are trying to save it so we got the data and here we are saving the product and we got a promise so there is no need for us to bother about the data here we'll see afterwards one by one here i can redirect after successfully saving i can redirect to the home page if any error occurs i can do console.log of error so for the time being we'll console the errors only afterwards we'll handle the global error handler how we can handle it now let's write it here i am saving so here i am writing Leela product and here I can write some random image URL if you want you can give the correct URL so 12 and here I'm adding some data and I click on add product see successfully the data has been added into the database this time these all the products are coming from the database so if you try to see here if I execute this query see the another query another uh, data has been inserted this time this data is added from the add product so from the admin from the admin uh, web page so now this is how we will be adding our product so we'll do the last one also why because so when we are clicking on the view details we need to show the details so this time this id is getting from the database not from the file so we will let's try to do this one also so here if you try to see so from where we are getting that one not here from the home controller maybe from the home controller. yeah product detail page so this is a get product details page now what i can do here instead of having this one all what i will try to do is request.product so get product by id let's go to the product.js file and here get product by id so there is no need for us to get it from the database and we got a data so there is no there is no need of callback also we got the product id and here i can write return db dot execute so here i can write select star from products where id is equal to question mark i can use the question mark 
and here i can write something like product id okay so product id that's it so why we can use this product id and here in this product controller so what i can do is for this one where is this one? home controller sorry i can copy this one all i need to provide it this all the code in the then block so here we are having yeah so dot then and you will be getting the product details product product okay i can paste it here i can use dot catch so error you will get an error here console.log of error i am doing console.log of so here you know that it will be not getting you the product it will be giving you an array of array so in that first array you will be having the product details and the next area you will be having the field data so that's it so now here let's try to close this one yeah we got the get products details now if i try to go here dot then is not defined so what happened here okay maybe the problem i think let's try to refresh it okay get product details page get product by id in the product.js okay we are using the same thing if i try to use the same thing maybe some wrong here we have written i think if i try to go into this one and if you see here okay we are here using dot we need to use the dot okay we have used the comma i think this time it will work i think so if i click on the refresh so still we are not able to see the data let's see what has happened here if you console the product details dot then of product dot then yeah here let's try to do console.log of product details let's console.log of this one and here if i try to refresh the same thing and if i try to see here the output here if you try to see this one is written as an array of object okay array of object we need to have only single object so here it is returning it as an array of object so this should not happen like that why because the by default it will, it will give you like that only so instead of that one what you can do is so here i can add something like product of zero and here also i can add product of zero dot title i think this one will work i think so if i try to see we know that we are getting only one data we will be returning only one product so for that reason i am trying to show it so here we don't have an image uh, uh, image url is broken so that is the reason we are not showing the image normally if you add if you try to add the correct image it will work automatically so this is how so now we have successfully able to add the product into the database and also we are able to get the single product details also so this is how we will be doing so this is all about how to add the data into the database and also how to retrieve the single product details also we have seen it so the, the same scenario we can do the cart and all those things also we can do it so right now the cart and all those things are trying to fetch it from the file so we have the mix of the code so some part is done in the database and some part is in the cart so we'll try to do it one by one afterwards so using our new orm technology so we'll try to see about the orm also so this is uh, writing the raw queries so this is, this involves a lot of efforts if you are trying to implement in a real-time language we'll try to see the different way how we can do it in the real time if you are trying to use it hope you understood about the basic uh, sql thing if you have any doubts or any suggestions please post the comments below to this video and if you like this video please do support me by subscribing to my channel thank you